Right, welcome to the, uh, to the video. So previously, in um, we've already made the, the table, uh, and I'll link you in the, in the video to where you can find that. Um, so this video is going to be mainly about how we're going to uh, turn it from a woodworking project into an electronics project, um, and we're also going to show you how to get thousands of thousands of videos, uh, thousands of games um, um, to install on this. So as you can see on the video, we've got Bubble Bubble, which is like a, a, a an arcade classic. Um, uh, if you like this video and you like any of the other videos or whatever, then like and subscribe it really helped me out. And if you want to know more about um, how I built it or anything, just just leave a comment below. Right. Where's your pie? You need that. You're going to need uh, some storage within the Raspberry Pi. I've gone straight to um, a solid state drive that, that I just plug in and I boot straight off this. So I'll, I'll show you all about that in a minute. Um, but you can also do it off an SD card. That, that, that's probably the preferred solution, but I, did, I didn't have a spare uh, SD card, so I did it straight off uh, this. You also need, uh, or I, it, it's easier to, or for me, it, it's quicker and simpler to, to transfer ROMs um, with a, a USB uh, card, so you just plug it into your, your main PC, get the ROMs, stick them onto this, and then transfer them into into this um, into this Raspberry Pi. So do that. Need a HDMI cable. Uh, this is uh, the, the 400 is a micro, or the Pi 4 is a micro uh, HDMI to normal HDMI. Uh, so you're going to need one of them. Um, you're going to need a TV screen. So, so look. So I bought a second-hand TV screen to fit in here. This is uh, a Sony Bravia. It's 26 inch. It, 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 I made the table suit the TV, but I don't think it needs to be much bigger to be truthful. So I think 26 is about right. Um, this costs about 30 quid. The benefit of it is is that it has speakers in it. Uh, so you, you don't have to um, provide, the, you, the sound is automatic uh, and um, yeah, the, so the sound is automatic. So that, that, that makes it absolutely fantastic. Um, don't, so yeah, you need a power source. So this is my power source. It's a really powerful power source for Raspberry Pi. I think it's about three amps um, and it comes to USB-C. Um, so you get that on the internet. Uh, and the really interesting stuff or I find to, to actually go from to go to retro to to you go from retro to Raspberry Pi is a kit that you can get off the internet, which is a bunch of buttons like this with uh, a couple of, with plugs. So I get you get eight buttons each uh, and a joy, two joysticks like that. These joysticks, and then they go into an encoder. This USB to uh, joystick to USB. Um, plug it all in. Uh, it's very difficult to make any mistakes. There's uh, there's the uh, USB cable as well. So you get the USB cable and then you plug the USB into the back of the Raspberry Pi, like so. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set this back up again, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it on. So that's all. So that's all the the joysticks connected. So the next bit is it really can't be simpler. Uh, connect your HDMI to your table. Oh yeah, one HDMI. As you can see, it's booting up now. Well, it was booting up, but I just didn't have the screen. And then, uh, because you've installed Raspberry Pi, um, Retro Pi, then it just does absolutely everything for you. It takes no time at all. Um, once you've down, downloaded all of this, then you need to, you're going to have to uh, find some ROMs um, and play some games. Pac-Man starting up. Put some credits in. Put some credits in. That's it. So simple. Right. Um, I'm going to go upstairs and show you how to do the rest. So, for, for this for this example, I'm just going to use a normal Raspberry Pi. Um, this is a 3B plus, uh, and I'm going to download it onto the SD card, which is here. Uh, at the moment, I've got it plugged into my 
into my computer uh, and I've formatted it so make sure it's formatted uh, then we go to um, have a look on the internet and search for RetroPie so just type in RetroPie RetroPie RetroPie.org UK have a look at this go to the downloads page and then go have a look which one you want um, we want we want we want it for the three so yeah so retro retro pi uh, two three and zero because this my retro pi is a three plus uh, three bit plus so let's go to here uh, it starts downloading uh, let's just yeah, you can see it's downloading there right anyway I, I think I already have it loaded so if I go into my file so you'll load that you'll save that to a file go to wherever you've saved all your, your documents go to Raspberry Pi I've got a file called Raspberry Pi I've got uh, retro Pi and in here it's uh, the 23 image there so I'm going to click on that it's going to ask me some questions about allowing it to use it I don't care I'm fairly comfortable that it knows what it's doing then there's automatic uh, yeah no I don't care about that uh, no, no, I said no, I said no, I said no, no, exit. Right, so there it is. All right, choose storage. So it's going to ask, it's asking me to choose storage. So you need to find your, it's saying mounted as D. I know that's correct. So that's right. So we do that. That's right. And then we write it. And it's saying, oh, all yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's going to all, oh, so many warnings. Uh, sure you want to continue? Yeah, I think I am. Right. Right. So it is saying, that it is ready. So let's get the uh, let's get the SD card. There's the SD card. It was in a my reader is a I had to convert it into a micro. So get the micro SD card out. Pop it into the micro thing there. That's it in place. Right. Uh, so we can, now we can power this up. So I'm going to power it up with. Um, so we've got the Raspberry Pi. You're going to need a keyboard uh, and you're going to need HDMI to the screen. Put the HDMI in first. Do that. Go right around. Uh, once you've got the HDMI in, get one. Use one of the USBs for the keyboard. Use that one. Right. And then I'm just going to. And they power it up. So let's see what happens. The theory is it'll just it'll just power it straight away. So I'm powering it via a USB, micro USB, which goes there, and then a little red light pops in. Then it should start. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. So we we're doing it. We're on. So eventually this will load, and it'll load with zero games in it. So the next thing they're going to ask you to do is that it's going to start going through configuration, and all that means is it's just to set up the buttons for the for the um, for whatever controller you're using. On this on this occasion, it was the keyboard. So you go through all of it, you just tap away, select all the buttons, and then configuration is complete. When you've done that, get the USB card, plug it into the uh, RetroPi, and restart. Um, that will what will happen then is that it will it will. Uh, formats the USB drive as the, as the computer wants and then you can start looking for ROMs and that's that's what I'm showing you here so there's, there's many places on the internet that you can get the ROMs from uh, maybe if you went to uh, forums or po uh, uh, message boards like maybe Reddit, Reddit for instance there could be a good source of ROMs in there um, on this one I'm just just showing you uh, an example of, of Pac-Man so I just did a quick search uh, you basically Oh, it'll tell you to download, it'll, it'll let you download the ROM, it'll turn up as a zip file, pop it into the ROMs folder within the, on the USB stick, uh, and as you can see there, that there's, there's many different uh, emulators that you can find ROMs for all over the internet, so there's thousands of games, and, and ultimately with this, there are, there are absolutely thousands of games, so there you go, I've got that Pac-Man, put it into the USB, uh, and I imagine that what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to I'm going to pop that into the Raspberry Pi, reload the Raspberry Pi, 
um, and then you will see a uh, yeah, so emulation so emulation station is, which is part of the Raspberry Pi and the Retro Pi is there and there you can see that the uh, Pac-Man is one game available so this is just a, just an example of how you do it but you can uh, there are thousands of games available um, and as I say uh, there's nothing more satisfying than playing an old school arcade game uh, as I uh, as I have found. Uh, there you go, Pac-Man cracking on. So if, you, if you've if you really enjoyed this video uh, and you want to see more, then just give me a shout, um, uh, give me a hit like, subscribe, and leave a message below. Right, anyway, I'm gonna head off now. Uh, it's almost lunchtime. Right, thanks very much, cheers, bye.